Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMyNewbie.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can make money on ClickBank for free extremely quickly and fairly easily. So before we dive into that, it really helps out the channel if you drop a like on this video, hit subscribe and turn on that bell if you want to be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time that are going to help you to find success online. Also, if at any moment you want to just click off this video, do make sure you go to the description. Uh, look at the timestamp next to that green tick because I think there's something there that you might find interesting. All right, so let's just break this all down step by step so you can simply follow along, go off and just do it, go off and implement it. So step number one is go to ClickBank and find a product. Um, find a product preferably that you believe in, find a product that you know uh, maybe has a lot of hype behind it, the more hype the better. Um, and the way you do that is you just come through to ClickBank, you go up the top there, Marketplace, and you look for a product that preferably is in a niche that you're interested in, you have strength in, that you're even in yourself, okay? So the good thing about ClickBank is there are so many different niches to choose from. Um, so I'm gonna just go with, for example, yoga. You know, it's a pretty popular niche. A um, lot of influences out there, a lot of products out there. So let's look what kind of products we have. So we've got, uh, you know, quite a few. We can look up at which ones are popular. I'm gonna go with this one called Yoga Burn. So in order to promote, you just click promote. Uh, you'd get your affiliate link. And then if someone clicks this link and buys uh, Yoga Burn, uh, you get paid. That's how affiliate marketing works, essentially. How do you get that link somewhere where people are gonna click on it? Moving on to step two. Step two is you need to find a platform where you're gonna talk about this product. You can do it in written form, in which case I would recommend your blog if you have one. If you don't, I have a link in the description where you can sign up and create a WordPress blog. Or uh, you could use Medium, which is already a site with you know big domain authority and you're more likely to rank a lot quicker on Medium. Or of course, you can do video content like uh, YouTube, for example. Uh, the good thing about YouTube is when you create a video on a new channel with zero subscribers, you can potentially rank number one uh, immediately following this method because YouTube doesn't require your channel to be around for a while before it ranks you, you just rank immediately. So step three, what you're gonna do is use one of these platforms and you're going to review the product. You might need to buy the product and test it out. If it's a product you've already used, even better, you can make a more genuine review. Now, if you wanna be a little bit unethical, you know, you can just review the product having never used it. Maybe look at other reviews around the web on this product and maybe just see what exactly is inside, what it's all about, and then maybe form kind of a more fabricated opinion. That's on you if you wanna do that, but at the end of the day, what you want to create is a review. So for Yoga Burn, your review should be titled Yoga Burn Review, um, and that should be the keyword that you're trying to optimize for. If you're doing this one, Shapeshifter Yoga, you do Shapeshifter Yoga Review, and you try to optimize for that. A quick tip, if you wanna optimize in WordPress, download the Rank Math plugin, it's free. If you wanna optimize in uh, YouTube, just make sure that you have this keyword, Shapeshifter Yoga Review or Yoga Burn Review, appearing about including in the, in the title, the first line of the description, and then maybe three or four more times, and also add it in your tags as well. That should give you a decent boost in SEO. So yeah, you're basically gonna talk about it, review it, give your experience, give your recommendation, say what's inside, and then at the end of the video or text, uh, give a call to action and tell them to click the link in the description or click the button um, to go through and purchase it. It's best if you kind of leave out that it's an affiliate link. A lot of people put like at the bottom of their call to action, this is an affiliate link, and, and they feel like they need this disclaimer. Uh, it's not really necessary. A lot of people will be dicks about it and they'll go like, oh, this guy's gonna get paid if I click his link. So they'll just go directly to the page just cause yeah, some, you know, some people are like that. They just don't wanna let you, you know, get any money even though you've just provided value and made them, help them to make a decision. So just have a call to action. If you want, you can include bonuses as well, kind of entice people in. Go on um, maybe idplr.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Look for bonuses, say if you do buy this product, hit me with an email and I'll send you off this bonus bundle. And maybe you could just, you know, get a couple of articles from around the web. 
save a couple of YouTube videos that you found to you know have a lot of value and just include that in your bundle but just make it sound great say you know if you click the link if you click the button and buy yoga burn you know you'll also get my bonuses if you send me an email and that can be part of your call to action so the next step is getting traffic now if you've reviewed a product that already has traffic looking for it like it's an influencer product there are already going to be people in that audience looking for the reviews on this product in which case you could start making sales straight off the bat now alternatively if you on if you are reviewing one of these clickbank products uh, and it's not really an influencer product it's just someone's uploaded it and they're not running ads to it or there's no audience looking for it uh, you're gonna have to find a product where there is traffic. So the best thing to do is maybe go on gumroad.com, look for products on there that have uh, got large audiences, a lot of reviews, um, a lot of purchases. You can also go on, let's say for example, if we're sticking with the yoga niche, go on Instagram, type in yoga, uh, look for the big accounts. Most of these big accounts will have flagship products and they will be continually marketing their products to their audience. So there's an audience there, a pool of people continually looking for reviews on their product. If they have an affiliate program on their own product, I would recommend doing that as well, going back to step three, and uh, just, you know, reviewing a product that already has people looking for it, that's the best thing. Uh, but if you're doing a ClickBank product, you're gonna have to do a second review on their product. So you basically review a product that has a lot of hype and a lot of people searching for it. So let's say there was an influencer in the yoga niche and she or he had a product called, you know, all natural yoga, right? You would do all natural yoga review. So this is now your second review. You do it on YouTube, Medium or your blog, whatever. And you'd review it. You'd give an honest review. You'd say what you think. Again, really use it or pull information from other people talking about it or however you want to do it. Make it sound as genuine as possible. But what you're going to do is you're going to give it like a three star, three out of five, two out of five, okay? And then you're going to have a section in your content saying, what's my number one recommendation, okay? And then you're going to say, look, I found this product. I found all natural yoga to be quite good. It's fairly okay. I expected a little bit more from this influencer. Um, but my favorite product, which actually blows this out of the water, is Shapeshifter Yoga or, you know, Yoga Burn, depending on whatever product you are pushing. And then you link to that content. So the traffic is looking for this influencer's product. That traffic is already there. They're going to go check out your review. You're going to say, well, it was okay, but I like this one better. The traffic's going to flow to that review. They're going to read your yoga burn or shapeshifter yoga review you're going to have your affiliate link there and that's the flow of the traffic uh, they click your affiliate link and then you make the sale so that's essentially it so to wrap it up you're going to find a product on clickbank you're going to find a platform to review youtube or medium or on your blog you're going to review that product honestly and hopefully you're already going to get traffic and sales from the fact that you've created a review if not the next step is you're going to uh, review or find products that do have people looking for them, preferably influencer products or products perhaps on Gumroad or other products even on ClickBank, but make sure that there's an, definitely an audience uh, looking for that product. Step five, you're gonna uh, give that product a review as well, but kind of give it less of a score. And then at some point at the end of your content, you're gonna recommend that initial review you did, that initial product, so people go to that review, check it out, click your link, you know, you're enticing them perhaps with some bonuses, and then um, obviously your affiliate link is on that video, and then you make the sale that way. Okay, so for me, that is the easiest and quickest way uh, to make money using ClickBank. Um, if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.